Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. By now you should know that we continue to dig at the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter. For many, many centuries we have believed things, we stood on things because we believed that what the church told us was right. But what if they have indeed been living of a shifting baseline syndrome. We talked about it before, but just to let you, me explain again, shifting baseline system or syndrome, SBS. It's a disease where a generation lets slip very important basics. And so did the church. And as the church leaders, became responsible, and I was one of those people. I was in the ministry for many years, and I sacrificed a tremendous lot till I discovered. And unfortunately, it had to go through some very harsh times, 18 years in court, of which six years sentenced to jail. That is what opened my eyes, my friends, because reality is, you can close your eyes, you can say everything is fine, but if it isn't, what if you wake up? Are you then coming to the same conclusion? What did I do with my life? I'm 70. That is seven decades before I opened my eyes. Could you do yourself a favor? Open your eyes a little quicker while you're young and vigorous and still can make something out of your life? This is my recommendation, folks. Pay attention, for tough times never last, but tough people do. Digger, by now you should know that we continue to work and the proper foundation, I say the proper foundation for the prodigal son and daughter, because you ought to have a foundation that you can build your life and your expectation of life on, not like me when I discovered that PMS ruled my life. I'm a male, so I'm not talking about the menstruation period that women have every month. For some, it's a breeze. For others, it's agony. I've seen it with my own eyes. It is no fun when you suffer of PMS. But we, as a generation, we suffer of PMS. And that PMS is called politician. Politics, politicians, the M for money or money management, and the S for spirituality. And today we will find that there is a fight going on between PMS versus PMS because there is a physical, there is a mental, and there's a spiritual aspect. That was the true PMS. And Successively, somebody, somewhere, full of animosity, wanted to destroy our society and came in with three false spirits. That's why I call this today PMS versus PMS. Let's continue. Does this mean destruction of standards? For some, the name end time is a big deal. They've been living the whole life towards the end time. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. But that's the terminology we have been brought up with in church. But what does it really mean? Is it really true? Dare we even to doubt that the church was wrong? Because the church has been built on a wrong foundation. Whoa, those are big words. Some of you might say, what the hell is going on? That's exactly right. What the hell is going on? If you want to say it nicely, what the heck is going on? Let's check it out. What the heck is going on? Is it correct that the true Jesus ceased to exist in this world? Excuse me? The true Jesus. Did he cease to exist in this world? Realize that I'm asking some very hard questions, for some very dangerous questions, because the whole life they've been brought up with something that they expect to going to happen or is going to happen. 
a fatal moment for the church. The church will be taken up, they will be gone, and then satanic forces will have a heyday for a short little while. Or that is the story, because I call it a story. Why? Because we are finding out that somewhere, somehow, in 325 AD, a fellow by the name of Constantine, the Emperor of Rome, forced people to accept his degree. And his degree as emperor was, if you don't take on my religion, Roman Catholic Church, you will be thrown in the arena. And in those arenas was not the Olympics. In those arenas were lions. They were wild animals. They will throw them in the arena to be eaten or be killed. And if they weren't killed by the animals, they were killed by each other or by soldiers that raced in there with weapons drawn. Folks, that was not a fun time to be a Christian because that is where the first century believers had suffered so much from SBS. Uh-oh, SBS, another term? What in the world is going on? Yes, folks, we talked about a shifting baseline syndrome. Shifting means it is moving constantly. You never know for sure. It's like it is here, it is here. Shifting tectonics, you know, the, the earth is moving and each time there's a major shake or quake, we know there's a shifting tectonics. Now shifting baseline syndrome. We have a baseline, but the line is always changing. Now that is what we were talking just recently, shifting baseline syndrome. And our church, the church that we know as the Roman Catholic Church or the Protestant Church, or for that matter, any church based on those two varieties are subject and affected. And their whole thinking is based on something terrible. Folks, PMS versus PMS. Let's go and find out what it really means to us, our family, and our society. First of all, we have an injured party that is the creator. And then we have the party, and the deceiving party, the satanic party, that has been trying to emulate or do something to prove that what is confirmed by God Almighty, what it was created by God Almighty, was not what they wanted, and therefore they wanted their own turn or their own spin. So the party that are standing before you are two parties, whereby one has said, we close everything. The story goes, going back to Adam and Eve, when they were in the garden, they were actually the deceived ones. And the party that belonged to God, God had created men, and God had therefore made it perfect according to his image. So it should be easy if we could take DNA to prove that we were created according to God's image, we should have all the qualifications of God as well. Because we know that a child should have the same DNA or more or less a very high uh, quality of DNA as the parents. So let's take a look at today's date. Today we call ourselves Christians or the body of Christ. We also have a tendency to call ourselves believers because not everyone claims they are Christians but there are many believers. Uh, they call themselves different, and that can be anywhere from a Muslim, Buddhist, people that are singing in the tabernacle choir and are associated with them, all the way up to people that are Taoist, Buddhists, because they all believe in their own way. And who says that who is wrong and who is right? It is only God Almighty who can say 
this is wrong and this is right. So we are not discussing one particular group of people that says, I am the only one. We're talking about the injured party, God Almighty. And we're talking about the deceiver, Satan. Because that is reality. That is where it really comes down. PMS versus PMS. What is the case exactly? There is a conflict and one party, party A or party B, let's call it party A, it's the party of God Almighty and party B is Satan, the deceiver. So if we take PMS versus that means that the party A, party of God, is the injured party and party B, the party of Satan, that is the one that has been lying, cheating and deceiving. But how can we lay the ground rules? How can we lay the facts down without going into depth? So let's take a quick look at what we are talking about so that we all get a better understanding. So we understand that we have two parties, one party, A, who is the injured party, and party B, who is the deceiving party. Now, in order to make accusations, we have to prove that something went wrong, or something was owned by somebody, and that person could clearly state, this is what I created. Now, it appears that in all the beliefs, in all the religions, it is never an an issue that there was a higher authority. Now, there are people that say, I don't believe in God. That is a whole different situation. But we are talking here about a person or a power that had a creative power, which was called God Almighty, El Shaddai, in the Jewish area. In the Muslim area, they call him Allah. Allah is great. Allah Akbar. And I understand that the Jewish people and the Muslim people and the Christian people are quite often heaped on one pal because we are all coming from the same area, yet we have a different of an opinion and difference that is created many years ago, actually centuries ago. So the deception is an ongoing situation. It is not just something that happened by accident and then forget about it because all is good. No, it is a deception that is hurting us today because the desire that God had and that God translated in books that he wrote, books that he dictated to people, and we call those books the first books of the Bible, the Old Testament. And therefore, we have to be very thankful for our Jewish brethren. Although within the Jewish fellowship, there is also a difference of opinion. But we are talking about baseline. Baseline, it is accepted that the Jews were the first ones that prayed to one God. Not multiple gods, one God. There is only one God, El Shaddai, Adonai, and there are many names for that, the I Am. And both the three parties, all three parties, that means the Jewish people, the Muslim people, and the Christians, or Christianity in general. I'm not talking highlight one group out of another group, but in general, believe there is one God. And his name is God Almighty, El Shaddai, the Creator. So what is the issue? The issue is that through history we notice that there is a lot of fighting, infighting, in groups that say, I am better, I am the one, I am the one. But it is not about them, it is about God. What, what, what is it that God wanted? 
God wanted a restoration. He wanted to restore the relationship between him and his creation. And that's why we call it Bereshit or Genesis, the beginning. The beginning has never been finished. Oh, how do we explain that? The beginning started, but then when Adam was basically an apprentice of God and he started working with God and naming the different names of all the animals, Adam was learning how to become like a God. Because if we are created according God's image, we should also learn the skills of being God. And those skills, that is something where we have a great problem with. Because God, in all his wisdom, recognized that the moment Adam and Eve sided with Satan in paradise, that they were not ready. So he locked down the knowledge to eternal life, the tree of life. And many people have been searching for the tree of life because reality is the P that we use is physical. The M is mental and the S is spiritual. That is the first PMS. Now, if we are physical in shape of a human being that has a skin, that has hair, that has ears, and we all look alike, granted, a Chinese individual will look different than an Indian, and an Indian looks different than a white man, and a white man, in general, quote unquote, the English people are different than the German people, and the Germans are different than the Finnish people. But I'm talking in general, as human beings, we all look alike. So where does the offense come in that because you are black, you are less worth than the white guy? Oops. So now you can see that it has a tremendous connotation when we say we are alike God. So if we are according his image, then there is something else that we are missing. It is not only our skin, but there is a mental or a spiritual aspect. And it is the spiritual aspect that we're dealing with. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So the issue is not, this is a black guy, this is a yellow guy, this is a white guy. This is God Almighty and his creation versus satanic forces that have been trying to destroy, to kill, and to maim. That's what we're talking about.